so yeah, so we're here with Joel this morning, and Joel is going to be baptized. So Joel, why don't you tell us a little bit about why you want to be baptized? Well, uh, I accepted Jesus when I was four years old. I had prayer with my family every night, and I went to church every Sunday, so I was used to talking or thinking about God from time to time. One night after family prayer, I asked my dad how I could become a Christian. He told me to get him a red washcloth. When I came back with it, he said, why didn't you get the black one? He told me to get this one, I said. He explained to me that being a Christian is believing, following, and listening to God like I listen to him. Since then, I've still gone to church and had family prayer, and I read my Bible too. But as I got older, I realized that being a Christian isn't just being good and following the rules. I needed to love God with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, and with all my strength, as it says in Mark 12, 30. I needed to make Jesus my whole goal in life, not just a small part of my life. Having that thought, I looked around me for ways to improve. I found them. I looked at myself, and God showed me my many flaws. So I got to work. I have been, and still am, constantly trying to improve because of what Jesus says in John 14, 15. If you love me, you will do what I command. I know it works won't save me. The Bible says so in Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. I want to show my love for him. Sometimes I get it. I succeed in acting like Jesus. But sometimes I'm way off and I feel like a wreck. I know I'm a mess. And it's at these times when I appreciate and love my Savior more and more. That's why I want to be baptized. I love my Lord and I want to follow him to the best of my abilities. Over the summer, I felt God prodding me to get baptized. I knew that God desires for us to get baptized, but I wanted to be careful to do it because I wanted to. Not because I felt like I had to, but to do it because I was doing it out of love. That is why I'm getting baptized today. Because of my love for my Savior, and so that I can identify myself with Christ, and proclaim my faith in the Lord. He saved me from sin, and I want to follow Him for the rest of my life. Okay, Joel, on your profession of faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You are buried with Christ in his death, and you are raised to new life with him. Lord, I thank you for Joel, and I thank you uh, to, for his commitment to your word, Lord, that he has believed in you, God, that you have saved him. Lord, and I thank you that he was here today, God, as a testimony of what he believes, God, as an example to other believers, God, and as an opportunity, um, God, for these people to hold him accountable to this faith that he's expressed, Lord. God, would you continue to work in his life, and God, I pray that according to the riches of your glory, that you would grant him to be strengthened with power through your spirit in his inner being, that Christ would dwell in his heart through faith, and that him being rooted and grounded in love, would have the strength to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that he may be filled with all the fullness of God. Lord, do that work in him, that God, lead him further into that relationship with you. In your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.